Apple's One More Thing event takes place on November 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, and this event is probably going to be focused on the new Apple Silicon MacBooks. I already posted a video here on the channel talking about what to expect, so please make sure to check it out in case you haven't watched it yet. Also, before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy Apple news and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So as we know, Apple is transitioning from Intel chips to their own Apple Silicon processors, and as part of this transition, they are supposedly designing a new Mac Pro that could be half the size of the current model, according to Mark Gurman and Debbie Vu. This new Mac Pro could have a similar design and half the size if compared to the current one, and we don't have too much information about this device, um, if it's going to replace the previous Mac Pro, or if it'll simply be an additional product. The Bloomberg report says, and I quote, Apple engineers are currently developing a new Mac Pro that looks like the current design at about half the size. It's unclear if that Mac will replace the current Mac Pro or if it's an additional model. Apple's chips designs could help the company reduce the size of its computers due to increased power efficiency, but the current Mac Pro is large in part to fit components like additional storage drives and graphics chips. Talking about the release date, it is unlikely that this launch would happen in 2020, but it could definitely happen on 2021 or 2022. At this year's WWDC, which happened in June, Apple said that they are planning on completing their transition from Intel to Apple Silicon processors in two years. So I guess we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for more releases. Also, don't forget that this next week's event is probably going to be focused on the new Apple Silicon MacBooks and it all indicates that the models are the 13-inch MacBook Pro, the 16-inch MacBook Pro, and the 13-inch MacBook Air. So it's extremely unlikely for us to see a desktops release anytime soon. Now, besides the new MacBooks, there are a few other possibilities for the One More Thing event, including the test flight for macOS. Test Flight is a tool made especially for developers in order for them to prototype apps before the App Store release, which is exclusively available on iOS devices such as the iPhone and iPad. But according to Avid Davis, editor at the tech blog The Verifier, this tool could be launched for macOS on November 10th. Now talking about the iPads, app, the Korean site ET News Today posted on November 4th that LG will supply Apple with mini LED displays for the new iPad Pro, which could be released in 2021. According to Mac Rumors, the report was also highlighted by Patently Apple, who claims that LG will likely begin production of the displays by the end of the year. We've heard other rumors about mini LED devices in the beginning of the year, including Ming Chi Kuo's report in March. He said that Apple is developing six mini LED devices that could be released in 2021. A 12.9 inch iPad Pro, a 27 inch iMac Pro, a 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro, a 10.2 iPad, and a 7.9 inch iPad mini. We've talked about the mini LED technology in another video, but I would say that it offers similar benefits as OLED displays which includes higher brightness, more contrast, and increased power efficiency. Also, don't forget to check out the video in which I tell you what to expect at Apple's MacBook event, which takes place next week. And if you enjoyed today's updates, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to help the channel grow and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.